ESG and climate is the thing that defines the world that we live in. We need to solve these issues, and I think fintech offers us a sort of platform to help make that impact. Would you agree? Of course, Ben. I also think uh, we've seen loads of interest from banks. It's kind of not just a side topic anymore, but actually people are starting to take it seriously. We've had so much interest in the stand, people coming and actually asking about our tools and solutions and how they can bring it to their customer base. And that's what's really exciting because the banks can deliver serious scale and impact. Well, ultimately, the financial system has got us into a little bit of trouble with the amount of money that's been going towards companies that have, I suppose, not such the greatest green credentials. A lot of stuff in the media you hear about it, which is ultimately banks have provided us with a way of financing and build, building amazing things in an economy. But also banks can provide us with the solution as well. So the finance that we need to be putting towards, I often say we need to go through a industrial revolution in the speed of a digital revolution. So we need to decarbonize the economy and banks and finance can actually help drive that. Just to add to that, you know, we're hearing from consumers that banks are increasingly looking, sorry, consumers are looking to their banks for help and support to not only understand their impact, but actually transition to a low carbon economy. And so a lot of the time we're signaling to consumers where they can take action, but some of those aren't always accessible. So the financial support incentives that the banks can provide will unblock some of those barriers that consumers are finding to help them drive to lower carbon emissions. We're showcasing so much. We've achieved a lot in the last year. So we, behind us, you'll see, we've got our carbon footprinting tool that we've been working on with NatWest and Commonwealth Bank. We'll shortly uh, be launching a pilot with IMG. It's really exciting. We've doubled the size of the team in a year. We've invested hugely in our behavioral science. We've got amazing partnerships. So there is so much that we're showcasing. Almost too much to fit into three days, Ben. Three words, I can tell you. We're helping banks support their customers to measure reduce and offset their carbon footprint. And that's what we do. Demand is through the roof and then ultimately banks offer us their opportunity to reach those customers and ultimately be part of the solution. Banks, you think about, you've got like a personal finance management in your app. So it tells you, here's how much you spent going out and eating and drinking and maybe you should save some more money and think about that. What people are now looking to ask for their banks is, can you help make sure that my money is also aligning with an environmental or social objective, things like, I want to reduce my carbon footprint. So what banks are able to do by partnering with Kogo is give that customer a sense of empowerment, which is, hey, last week my carbon footprint was going down because I've been doing these things. So we're really supporting banks to really help their customers do things around climate, ultimately helping them put their money into companies that align with their environmental and social values. Yeah, it's really interesting. We just recently did a survey working with the Behavioral Insights team and it surveyed around 22,000 people and they said 75% are actually looking for the bank to help them understand the impact of their everyday spend on the planet. And to top that off, 65% have asked for push notifications from banks. That's amazing. That's creating true relationships and true conversations around sustainability. Kogo is a team of about 85 people now. We've doubled in the last nine months, um, but we're looking to raise money to expand our offering across the world. There is so much opportunity uh, out of North America, through the Asia Pacific, and in the UK and Europe. And we've got some news um, that's going to come out of the European market soon. Yeah, we've got two new partnerships uh, about to announce, and we've got really exciting conversations happening with quite a few of the big European banks. So watch this space. You'll, uh, you'll hear it first. You'll soon have a carbon footprint in your European air.